Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So glad to see you. Um, I have one candle for you today from Stonewall Home, which is the company that also does, um, well it's the company Stonewall Kitchen. And Stonewall Kitchen does a lot of um, kind of premium kitchen products, no, food products, yeah, food products. Um, so like um, mixes and and jars of jam and pasta sauce and stuff like that. But they do other things too. They do housewares to some extent, or at least kitchenwares. And they also do candles. And they owned or they they acquired Village Candle. I want to say like two years ago, something like that. But then they have also developed their own line of candles that I really love. Um, Although, they could use some execution help. <laughs> so, the candle in question today is Jasmine Berry. Looks like this. Having some trouble focusing here. Jasmine Berry burned all the way down to the wick clips. And it's kind of hard to tell because there's discoloration what the candle actually was, but it was this beautiful, like, dusty lavender color. And you probably saw it on the thumbnail of the YouTube video. Um, so Jasmine Berry, so on the front, which is really nice, they do provide some of the biggest or most prominent notes of the candle. And then they also have a more exhaustive list of notes that are on the website. So um, the notes on the candle are jasmine, berries, pomegranate, and rhubarb. Yeah, this was a really nice candle. Really, really strong as well. So it's super, super jammy. And when I initially hauled this, and I can't even remember when it was, I think maybe last season, like as in like fall of 2022, maybe. Um, this was a new candle in 2022. And when I got it, because, you know, I ordered it from the company there in the state of Maine. So I ordered it and I, I liked the list of notes, but I was not sure... Um, that I was gonna like it in person so I kind of bought it cold and when I smelled it I was like oh it was kind of like when I say that a candle smells kind of like cranky and old-fashioned do you know what I mean like it was kind of stuffy kind of like really heavy and it just had this weird kind of like stale old-fashioned kind of smell to it and so I did not really think I was gonna like it but when I burned it, that really lifted off and I got this deep, dark jamminess, which I love. One of my favorite candles is Santiago Huckleberry from Velispa. And this is kind of in that genre, super dark berries. So on the website, it says top notes, um, pomegranate, cassis. I mean, so you're already going kind of like in that deeper, darker, like um, fruit category, apple, berries, but it doesn't specify which ones. I would say blackberry, raspberry, currant, which is the cassis. Mandarin, a little bit of um, citrus there. Okay, and then we have rhubarb, geranium, rose, violet, jasmine, and herbal, um, nothing specified. Base notes, musk, sugary and cedar wood. Man, it's, it's like they took a page out of Kringle's book with some of these notes. Um, so yes, there is something real like dark musky down below, but it's kind of everything is overwhelmed, frankly, by the berries. The berries are just so bright and so punchy that everything else just kind of is supporting cast. And although I didn't notice the rhubarb as much, it's sitting a little bit higher than the berries are. Um, I, I, it, it's kind of your top note of the candle is that rhubarb moment. And um, probably combined with a little bit of that citrus, but it's not, I would say the rhubarb is more forward than the citrus is. And it adds kind of that like sour green vine warmth to the candle. Um, it is nice. 
but again like the dark deep jammy notes the musky jammy stuff is like ruling the world but i noticed when i burned it the rhubarb came out much more strongly um and it was really nice and i thought to myself you know you could do this for spring and ideally you could do it for early spring where it's still kind of a little cool you know um so yeah this is a super dark jammy with all of that floral in there i i feel like you should be able to smell it more than you do but you really don't because like i said it's just so berry forward not only smelling on cold but also once you burn it I'm just, I get very little floral. However, the whole thing kind of has a beautiful, like soft, perfumey quality to it. Um, and that's with the musk combined with the floral, I think. But if you're not, if you're worried about it being like a floral candle or perfume candle, don't worry about it. It is predominantly a deep fruit, dark fruit kind of candle, no question. And then with the geranium to kind of lighten it up. Really the floral here, even though it's there's an enormous number of them in that mid-range, and it's got the musk, um, it really, um, those must just be supporting cast. I mean, they're just kind of rounding it out and filling it out probably. Yeah, mostly berry-ish. Oh, it's so juicy. It's really juicy. And I love it, I really do. Um, have I smelled better candles? Probably. Do I like Santiago's Huckleberry a little bit better? Yeah, but let me tell you something. Santiago Huckleberry doesn't perform very well. I've not tried it in the three wick. Maybe in the three wick, I'm sure it'll have better presence than in like the one wick from Voluspa. Um, this one performed like a champ in terms of strength and throw. The strength and throw on this candle, and this is in the open concept, was anywhere from like, a seven to an 8.5. Um, and I would say more often than not, it was kind of in that eight range. It was a really punchy berry. It really was. Um, and that, despite the fact that many of, especially as I got to the midpoint of the candle, many of the burns were low in terms of flames and wicks. So um, Stonewall Home uses these like grasshopper leg like wicks. To me, they even look smaller than the Homeworks ones. I mean, they are super, super tiny, and they are too tiny for these kinds of candles. They just are. They tend to do fairly well for the first half of the candle, and then by the second half, they just like, they just drowned. They completely drowned. Um, and it's because those wicks are just not sufficient for this kind of wax formula, which by the way, is a soy blend formula and quite a good one. It burns very, very clean. Um, I obviously adding a larger wick will contribute a little bit more sooting, um, but I think they have room to maneuver here because their candles are very, very clean and very strong and we just need a little bit more oomph. Um, about halfway or a little bit more than halfway, I finally poured off some of the wax and once I poured off some of the wax, I got another like inch out of it, right? And then it did the puny wicks again, and then I had to pour it off. But if I poured it off, then I would be okay for a little bit. So as long as you're not, I, I mean, you shouldn't have to do that. And I don't like doing it either. Um, but as long as you're not averse to doing it, that is the way you can kind of nurse your way into the second half of these Stonewall Home ca um, candles. And I would recommend it. I, I, I think there's enough merit here in this candle to kind of nurse it a little bit and put up with it. Um, and on the scheme of things, pouring off wax every now and then is not like a huge thing, yeah? Um, Cause there's not much you can do for like a candle that's overly discolored or sooting too bad or like whatever else it is. This one just doesn't. It's really pretty good across the board. Yeah, there was dis discoloration as you can see, but that's like, that's a bottom of the candle situation. And also, I mean, the wicks were just like burning into the wax for most of it because it was just burning so low. Um, and the, the fragrance is so punchy and so aggressive that like, I think it could stand up to an enormous amount of soot and not like lose its fragrance oils. So I really highly recommend it. I do. And I actually think a lot of people would like it. That's Jasmine Berry. Mostly berry, not jasmine. 
from Stonewall Home. Um, this is a bowl and it's three wicks and it runs for $18.95. Every now and then though, they will run like various different sales and you can get them for less than that. And they're actually starting to sell them at various other retailers like Macy's. They've been having a few Stonewall Homes on Macy's as well. Um, very um, competitively priced on Macy's and they're often included in a lot of sales. So I really love Stonewall Home a lot. And when they nail it, they nail it. They really do. So I think this is a really good candle. Just be prepared to like do a little bit of triaging in the second half of the candle because the wicks are just way too small. That's what I've got for you. Yeah, I would repurchase it. It's, it's good. And I think it's especially good for, I would say the dark berry nature of it feels very like cool weather, fall, early, like winter, that kind of a thing, you know, with the dark currants. Um, but the rhubarb note makes it like at least transitional and does add like kind of a spring-like, summer-like warmth to it. You could probably get away with burning it even in the summer, to be honest, with that rhubarb note. So that's what I think. Yeah, I like it. It's 15 ounces. It does come in other formats as well. I do love the Stonewall Home um, shipping. I think it's fantastic. Um, and I think they they pack like professionals for sure. Um, but the shipping has gotten extraordinarily expensive. And I know it's gotten expensive for every company. And they've varied in terms of how much they're willing to pass on to the consumer. Um, Stonewall Home has passed almost all of it onto the consumer or, okay, some of it onto the consumer, more than other companies. Um, you used to be able, I mean, like a couple of years ago, Stonewall Home, like they, they would run a lot of like um, free shipping over $50 and even like the shipping rate was very reasonable. Like it was under $10, it was just reasonable. Now it's not, and you have to get regularly like $125 or something. Otherwise, like for free shipping, otherwise it's like 16 bucks or something. Like it's completely insanity, which is another reason why I really suggest, like if you can find it at another retailer like Macy's right now, um, that's a better um, situation. I mean, every company has to kind of weigh that, right? But if you can sell them in other places and your, cons cus your customers are going there because they don't like paying your shipping prices, then you have to like kind of weigh it, pros and cons. Because obviously you're gonna get a better return rate on the items that are purchased directly from your company as opposed to somebody else. Anyway. Just just some business, just some shop talk there. Um, I will link it down below. It is a currently available and I recommend it. Also, I just got a beautiful haul from Stonewall Home and Village Candle. They were running like um, a fairly, it was like 20% off, which ha is not a great sale for them, but I feel like there have not been that many sales from Village Candle and Stonewall Kitchen for a while. Again, like a couple years ago, they ran a lot of them. They've gotten kind of stingy. So I sprung for it at 20% off, but I'm not gonna lie to you, that 20% off basically just covered my shipping when it finally got done with it. But I did get some Village Candles. So I will have that haul coming up for you very soon. I will catch you in the next one.